Hi, so this is a dance, like, Q&A thing, so I run, I film this, but then my video finished importing, so basically I had to press the button so it will upload on my gaming channel, just lolly fans forever, so yeah, I have to refilm this, but basically, so dance. So, the first question is, and then, are you a good improv dancer? And the answer is yes. I kind of just go with whatever works with the music, how I think works with the music. Interesting fact, when I first heard the song Diamond in a Diamond Heart by Run the World, which is like a girl game, thing on YouTube, um, with Corinne Joy, or Jasmine something or other, Haley LeBlanc, and I'm sorry there's another person, but I'm sorry, I don't really know their name, I'm gonna have to find out, yeah, I thought it was a, I, cause when the lyrics video came out, and I was listening to it, I was, imagining ballet contemporary and then the music video came out and it was like hip-hop like it was very opposite and like i was like wait and then i listened to it more and went like wait this is actually working So yeah, I'm very good improv dancer. Next question, am I going to be an overboard dancer? What I mean by that is the dancer that buys all the equipment, has like a dance studio in their house, you know, um, constantly focused on dance, and the answer is yes, 100%. So now I want to bring up dance. So when I first started dance, I would literally, soon as we got to the place, I would go into the bathroom, use it if I had to, and change into like a stretchy like shirt and like some stretchy pants. Then, then I would run, run like basically, basically, I would, like, come out and, like, wait if we had to wait, and, like, I just enjoy dance, or go straight into dance. It's interesting fact, I did do a lot of improv at that time, because I, I was all, like, one of the first people to get their, like, shoes on, like, I tapped to their ballet shoes, and, and so I would just improv, like, my own little dance stuff, and it was just really fun. Well, when we quit dance, because we had family moving, I felt like something was missing. And I didn't realize that with dance until one night, I was watching a show called Backstage. It's on Netflix, highly recommend. It basically, like, this really, it's about, like, this school, but it's not, your normal school because it's like I that everyone goes there for something specific like music, dance, something like everyone has a thing that they go there for and like it's like it's just okay it sounds boring right there but trust me if you watch it there's like it's really good there's a lot of like drama and it's like good for like kids and like any age and it's like really fun we don't have Netflix now, so can't watch it, but I was just watching it, and I just was started dancing, and, like, I, I felt like one out of two things was found, like, I was missing two things at the time. I found that, then it hit me. I was missing my crush, I, like we all expected. So I went upstairs and went 
asked if we could go to music class the next day. We ended up going. This was actually around the day before Valentine's Day. Um, like, February of 2019. And I loved it. Like, I obviously was dancing, like, way before then, but I went, like, in the living room by myself and my dog Sam was there, but, like, I didn't realize that was what I was missing. And then, for one night, I literally felt like, my world was complete and that feeling lasted for like a while and then and I went back to music class and like it all started falling apart because like yes I love dance but then it started falling apart because my crush was sick and then I was freaking myself out no we got into the car or um, my dad went, like, how was music class? In class, and I went, like, what did you think? My crush wasn't there. He went, like, oh. And I went, I went, like, he went, like, you seem kind of freaked out about something. I went, like, no, I'm fine. Like, I, I went, like, oh, I found out um, why he wasn't there. And he went, like, why wasn't he there? And I went, like, I overheard. Well, no, the teacher said something about how, how he was going to miss, if he was going to be disappointed that he missed me coming, and I, and I had asked her, like, why do you say that, and she went, like, went, like because he's out sick this weekend, I'm, like, mm. so I told dad, and, like, it was a thing, and then it became a thing, and, like, it was a hot mess. <laughs> And, like, it was just a hot mess thing. Well, yeah, like. So, yeah, like, I, I mean, it was something. <laughs> and then, like, I kind of showed up again still sick like there were just so many things and it was just falling apart and so I literally went home the night that I found out he was sick and I literally danced for like half an hour straight because I was watching TV and I was just dancing for half an hour straight and then like because I kn I knew that like after the fact that I had already punched some pillows um, I knew the only thing that was gonna get me, like, the only thing that was gonna make me, like, happy or, like, okay with it was dancing and it worked. Kind of. Kind of not. Yeah, it started to kind of work and I did end up being a little bit better because of it. But then it also kind of was, like, out of it. So, yeah. Dance really has gotten me through a lot. And dance is really special. If you have in the passion, and if you really want to do it, don't stop. Work your butt off. Just do it. And like run with it and work your butt off and it will happen. So yeah, I'm just very excited that dance really did work. Irk, and like dance is amazing and it's really special to me. And like when and like I don't like people hating on dance because 
There are a lot of people out there who don't understand dance. They don't know what it is. And that's really hard. For me. I've been filming for a while, although this is only 10 minutes. But I'm going to just upload this and go watch YouTube.